Okay, folks, welcome to a pre-US session. And this is a big one because we are looking forward to Jerome Powell's FOMC uh, tonight. Is it going to be 25 basis points? Is it going to be 50? Is it going to be a pause? Um, I think it's going to be a same as planned a hike of 50 here. But uh, let's see either which way. Sorry about my voice. I've just got a bit of a thing at the moment. But um, yeah, so... I think it's going to be a, a 50, but look, let's not play the game of guessing what the Fed are going to do. Here we are on the spoos. We've gone through the banking crisis, you know, down we go, finding a bit of value around 38.94s and then back up, um, you know, just crisscrossing over this trend. And, you know, way back when we were kind of in December, you know, all eyes were on this kind of downward trend here on the spoos. Um, you know, myself and Jason talking about, well, are we going to bid through? Are we going to, you know, bid through, pull back, collapse? Um, and it's been just a, it's been just a total mi mi mishmash, to be honest, uh, with this banking crisis. So you've seen clearly sellers on 4118s here uh, driving us back down. And that was the high here of uh, the 15th of November last year. So you know, the trend very much not really something you can trade against at the moment. Um, but look, 38.94 is generally holding the bids back up here. Really strong finish to the to the market yesterday. It wasn't a, a huge move, but it was a very clean push above what are pretty decent resistant levels here. Um, currently, actually, where we're trading right now. Um, so let's let's see uh, what we get. Um, out of Jerome tonight, I think, look, if it's going to be a, a 50 basis points hike, as I think it will, I think we're going to sell down and we're going to sell down hard. And we're going to breach this sort of downside uh, over the rest of the week. Uh, you know, We're going to breach that 38.94s and not really a place to be taking shorts, but you're going to need to, if you want to be on this trade, you know, I'd highly recommend kind of waiting until tomorrow, you know, with the knowledge of what we've had from Jerome and the market, you know, if we do sell down, for example, um, on whatever it will be tonight, you know, you will get an opportunity as the market will to have a some stage, some form of a pullback, you know. And then if you if you are uh, bearish on what Jerome is is going to do tonight, then you know on uh, on Thursday you'll have the opportunity to re you know sell a pop and then go for the downside. And inversely, you know, uh, if the market rallies out of what Jerome says uh, tonight. You know, say it goes up here like this, you know, you're going to have another opportunity tomorrow to buy a pullback to get on with the with a decent trade, you know, depend. And so there's, there's something for everybody here, really. Uh, so that's that's going to look at, you know, the trend here and the spoos. Look, I mean, I'm not really going to talk about where I would take a trade at the moment. Um, we're going to need to get through this U.S. session. And we'll talk tomorrow on the pre-U.S. then. But currently I am long DAX short bond. Um, just some technical stuff. I really don't want to be trading um, come the U.S. session. I think it's going to be a bit messy. Obviously, I'm going to hold this DAX long and see where it goes. You know, I'm not in the in the habit of cutting trades that are on side. Um, so, yeah, let's let's see what we can get. Um, gold trading 1946s. I don't really see any buyers here at the moment on gold. Oil is extremely tricky. I think we do need to hit 70s. I was trying some longs off of VWAP yesterday. Um, got really ugh, won, won some, lost some, as it, you know, generally the risk profile just didn't allow me to hold this uh, pullback on the 22s. Um, and to be honest, I, I wasn't trading that much yesterday. And eventually we did get a break to the highs and a new high in the session before a uh, little, little pop down on a little, small little gap down on the reopen there. I might just mark that off there uh, as well on oil. Uh, but I think pop the 70s and let's see if it doesn't want to turn back down from there. Um, and yeah, that's about it. All right, so best of luck for tonight, guys and girls. I think if it's a 50 basis point hike, we're going to go way down on equities after maybe an initial push up, tiny little push up. If it's 25 basis points hike, I think we're going to rally to the upside. And then if it's a hold, I think actually that's too much for the market to handle. And it shows that the Fed, it's going gonna, it's gonna to pull the credibility rug right out from under Jerome. He's not, I don't think he's going to do a pause or a, pull, a pause. Uh, but if he does, that's going to absolutely shoot the credibility of the Fed and the FOMC to bits. 
Um, and then any cut, I think you'll see an initial burst to the upside, which will then get sold down hard. Um, and you're talking about like 2% down, I think, on something like that. Okay, have a good session, and I'll talk to you later. Apollo 11, this is Houston. You are confirmed to go for orbit. Roger.